Hi everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Bow video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, overlay Elementor created content on an Elementor carousel. Uh, this question came up on the Elementor Facebook group and uh, I had a written explanation, but uh, this is a little bit trickier. Uh, than some of the other ones. So this is just a quick run through on how to go about it. So we'll get back there. And uh, here is the uh, overlay that I'm going to do. And I'll show you what I've got there. So it's just a uh, heading element and a text element uh, on a section that has a colored background with some transparency so we can see the image images uh, through it. So we're going to add that uh, via the uh, short code. And while we're here, let me just get that onto the clipboard. Copy. And uh, for the page, we're going to use the Elementor Canvas uh, because we don't want anything else on the page. And we don't uh, need to touch anything else because the canvas looks after that. And as you may notice, this is the Generate Press theme. I'll just update that to make sure. And let's just go right into Elementor. So we need to add a section, single column, and set this uh, section up. We need this one to be full width, no gap. And that's all we need with that one. Now we're going to go grab our carousel, plop it in there. First thing to do is turn autoplay off. Thank you. And we'll get some images. And we'll use this one and this one because they're uh, both uh, a nice size for this. And this is from an Elementor uh, template. And insert. And we'll fix the sizes up, go to custom. And I've uh, found out by trial and error that this works good. For size for this uh, project, I pick apply. And we want one image or a slide to show at a time. Uh, we want to stretch. And we'll just use arrows for this. And uh, link, we're going to add a custom URL link. And I'm going to go grab it here. So we'll go to the home page when the image is clicked. Because with the canvas and no menu uh, and the uh, overlay doesn't have a button or anything to click to go anywhere. So if we don't do this, uh, we're stuck on that page unless we use the back button. Okay, and we'll just save that. Let's go see. Refresh. And there we go. And next, next. And if we click here, there we go. Back to the home page. So over to page four. Now, there's the fun part. Come back here. What we want to do is put the column widget on top, which gives us another section. And this is the crucial part. And we want to get rid of this column because we just need the one. If you just put the short code up here without doing it this way, uh, it would automatically stretch out. And that's not what we want. And the other thing that will happen if you do it that way is the background uh, of the inserted short code won't come through. You'll just get the text elements. So we're going to do it this way. Drop the short code in. And I think I just uh, added the thing there, didn't I? I would have had the URL. So there's the short code. Paste it in. And there is the content that we're going to overlay. And this is how that works. So it's going to be the old negative margin trick. But why we can't enter a minus sign here to start this off. I don't know, but you can't see, watch. So that's why you usually go like this. 
and then uh, select it and enter my value. 335 I know works for that. And 110 on the plus side to bring the image down. I don't worry about this because if you hide the preview, you'll see it's just fine. So let's save that. Go back to the front. Refresh. And there you go. There is your Elementor created content overlaying the slider. Now, I'll just show you one more thing. Ah, what the heck. While I'm here, let's just do it this way because this was uh, part of the example on the site. So I'm going to add uh, this template, pre-designed template, uh, because we won't have to go reload the images again. So let's save that, and that's where I got the images from, was from that template, of course. So reload, and there you have your image slider carousel on the Elementor page. And if you click here, of course, you go back, and there you go back to the site. Now, one thing I wanted to note, uh, because uh, we're using Elementor Pro. I don't have my license activated on a local install uh, to get the short code. Uh, if you don't have Pro, you can do the same thing uh, with uh, anywhere Elementor. Uh, you would create your, uh, I'll just show you here one that I have. That's the one I got that you saw on the site. So you would do the same thing. You create your content with anywhere Elementor and uh, come back here. Well, actually, he does it a different way, and I like it this way. It's right there. You get the short code, and if you're putting it in a hook location or somewhere else uh, in some PHP, he's already generated the code here for you. Uh, but anyways, so that's how to do it, and... Uh, if you have any other questions, well, just post them on the uh, comments section. And uh, uh, be sure to subscribe. Oh, somebody's trying to get my attention here. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the Sniffle Valve YouTube channel and also on the Sniffle Valve website. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.